huge deal in the NHL. The Habs have acquired Max Domi mm -hmm. from the Coyotes in exchange for Alex Galchenyuk. Yeah, that's a big move. Uh, part of the deal will include an extension for Domi, which will be worked out over the next few days. With more, we're joined now by Hockey Night in Canada's Elliot Friedman on the line. Elliot, both of these players haven't really lived up to expectations. Is this a change of scenery move more than anything else? Yeah, Brandon, I think it is. I think that's a very big part of it. Uh, Domi had a rough year last year, uh, down to nine goals. I think we all believe he's a better player than that. Um, you know, I, I think he really he struggled last year in Arizona a great deal. The trade rumors started coming out before the deadline, and I think it was pretty common knowledge around the league that uh, Arizona was looking to give him a change of scenery, and I think Pittsburgh was another team that was checking around. As for Galchenyuk, it seems like he's been in trade rumors almost non-stop since about the second year of his career. Um, and I think, you know, it's interesting. Like, you ask a lot of uh, people around Montreal, including some players and people in the organization, they'll tell you that's a guy who was also, they wouldn't be surprised if he did something else very nice outside of Montreal in, in a change of scenery somewhere a lot quieter, which Arizona will be. Now, talking more about Galchenyuk, Montreal always intended to use him at center that didn't really work out. Do you think they'll try something similar with Max Domi? You know, Jesse, I, I think that's, that's pretty interesting. I, I, I do think that Montreal is looking for centers first and foremost. And I do think that if they'll probably give Domi a chance to play there. I also wonder if this means it's likely they're taking uh, the finish center next week in the draft because they've taken away another option that they could have at center next season, and we all know Montreal is looking for them. I think what they're going to do is they will just look at Domi and say, where's the best chance for him to succeed? And if they think it's center, I have no doubt they'll give him a shot at it. Elliot, is this the beginning of a really busy summer for GM Mark Bergevin? Um, well, I hope so, because that makes life more interesting for all of us, right? <laughs> um, you know, Brand, I, I, you know, look, like, obviously Montreal is not a team that was really happy with what it did last year. I think there's kind of a two-pronged approach to what Montreal is doing. Number one, I think they want to restock the coverage. I, I do think there's a lot about building up their prospect base, um, you know, getting themselves a foundation for the future. And I think the other thing is, they just want to take a look at some of the guys who maybe weren't working and try to see if they can find someone else who can. And, you know, I think, look, they've got to get Price healthy. They've got to get Weber healthy. They're not going anywhere without those two guys coming back and being the forces we know that they can be. I don't know if he necessarily swings for the fences in terms of things anymore, but I think he's looking. If he can get those two guys back and healthy, what else can he do to make his team better and build the foundation? Domi's a young guy. I think it's too early to give up on someone like that, and I think that's what Montreal is looking at. Looks like it's going to be a very interesting summer heading into the draft next week. Elliot, thanks very much. My pleasure.